Hello everyone, welcome back to AI the Somnium Files. Now let's go find some information about Jin Furue at Central Hospital and figure out what the deal is here. She slouches really aggressively. Sorry to bother you at work. You're Jin Furue's... Yes. I was his nurse when Jinny was here. I call him Jinny because he was still in his late teens when he was here. Of course, he grew up. He was a very important man, but to me, he's still that little kid. So you've known him a while. My name is Hana Yonasu. Hmm. hmm, I don't know. I'm bad at remembering things. They call me an airhead, even though I'm a lifesaver. I can get them in in the tightest spots. The needle? No, I'm talking about cars. You're talking about parking? It's an impressive skill, though. Let's talk about Jin first. I remember Jinny well. I heard he was born kind of frail, and he'd been in and out of the hospital since he was young. You heard? Yes. As I said earlier, I was only his nurse when he was in his late teens. What kind of illness did he have? It was a visceral disease. Though by the time he passed, he was completely cured. I cannot search anything on Jin's illness. Those records have been completely wiped. That's weird. Now we wing sync. I've had enough with marriages. It's really a hassle to build up a relationship. I'm too busy, and I'm almost 40. Wow, she looks nothing close to 40. She does look young for her age. Yeah, that's impressive. I However, that has nothing to do with so Jin. Big. When I first saw him in the magazines, me and some older nurses that knew him were really surprised. When he was a kid, he was shy and really timid. He couldn't even use the restroom alone at night. He was so soft-spoken. I never thought he'd become so successful and become the president at a big company. But he was killed. That's a weird ending. That's about it, though. I haven't seen him since he left the hospital. Anything you noticed about him seeing him from afar? Well, let's see. He'd really changed. Did he almost look like a different person? Are you suspecting a change in identity? Yeah, we can cross off twin or clone, but maybe he was replaced by someone else. No, I'm sure it was him. I only saw him in pictures and read about him, but he was a neat freak. Very meticulous. I could sense it in his words. I'm positive it was him. See, that doesn't necessarily preclude the possibility of, um someone using the name Jin Furue and the real Jin Furue being someone else entirely. Just because this particular person was ill, he could still be used as the face of a company despite being ill, because after all, all he would have to do would be to show up to some events and have his picture taken a whole bunch, basically. Which, unless you have some kind of extremely severe illness and again she said he was cured even if he was still weakened after being cured of his illness whatever it happened to be he could still do that so i still think potentially that can work i'm not sure why ryuki's here unless he's musing on the case ryuki what are you doing here oh mizuki isn't it obvious i'm here for the reinvestigation reinvestigation The investigation has only just begun. I need to keep my eyes wide open. I need to see the pieces. Lost beyond time. This is my case. But, Ryuki, you're... Hold on, Mizuki. Ryuki is not well. He is traumatized. But in these circumstances, it is better to not push back against things he says. You may inadvertently make his condition worse by denying his delusions. Really? Yes. It is common practice for patients in Ryuki's condition. Okay, Ryuki. Just don't do too much, okay? <laughs> Alright. Ryuki. I cannot determine anything from him when he is in this state. Interesting. I'm not gonna ask Six you years ago. Yeah, you were drunk last night and wouldn't tell me anything. No. I don't want to talk about it. But it might help with the investigation. Stop trying to make me remember! It was a terrible, terrible thing! You want me to talk to you about it?! That is enough. 
There is no use trying to get him to talk. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I'll ask okay. him. Yeah, you look tired. You should go home and rest. I don't have time to rest. I need to find the culprit. Besides, I had Tama tie me up tortoise shell bondage style earlier, so I'm feeling good. Uh, yeah, you should <laughs> definitely just head home. It's all right now, because I am here. These lips are not moving. Half there bites. we go. <laughs> Half for all. We are full-time heroes. I can do anything. I'm like a superhero. I won't lose to the bad guys. And if anyone gets in my way, let it be. He is not capable of participating no, in normal conversation. Not. He's especially bad today. Probably because we synced with him earlier. It probably has a lot to do with this. Oh, I know. The shrine, Ikume Shrine. I'll go there. It'll help me calm down. There he goes. There is nothing we can do for him. It is best to let him be. Ryuki was traumatized by the events six years ago and has been hurting ever since. He tried to return to work, but his symptoms worsened. Yeah, he's supposed to be on leave of absence to get better, but... His symptoms have not improved. Anyway, there are no leads here. Let's get going. All right. Sorry, to check something really quick. Ah, yes, Shoma. Where Ooh. could he be? Maybe the video really did make him go missing. I will connect you. Hey, okay. Mizuki. I remembered something about Shoma. There's this place I hear he's been going to a lot. Horidori Institute of Genetics. Huh? What's he going there for? I haven't asked. Horidori Institute. I don't know why, but I guess he might be there. Thanks, Ken. I'll head over there. Be careful. That's interesting. I know they had him there earlier to do some stuff with him. What, I'm not sure. Never seen that kid here. There it is. His temperature is rising. He is lying. But why are they concealing a Shoma? Well, we made it inside, at least. But where's Shoma? Mizuki, I must protest against you doing anything rash. Boss will never let you hear the end of this. What are you talking about? You punched the security guard <laughs> unconscious to get him out of the way. I didn't punch him. It was more of a kick. Same difference. Well, sorry, I'm not very good at covert ops, okay? Anyway, I got this weird feeling. My gut is telling me that Shoma is caught up in some bizarre like science experiment. Like it was six years ago. Your gut is not a reliable source of information. No, this is a continuation of what he was talking deeper. about six years ago. Shall we go? I remember this. Of course. I can't they go back now. They said they were running now. some tests on him for something. Who the hell are you? How did you get in here? Crap, they saw me. You need to be more careful. Intruder. We're going to police! Yeah, the police are right here. In your dreams, girl. Let's get her. Yeah! Mizuki... Well, if I gotta do it, I gotta do it. Mizuki, do not use your full power. We are in the wrong here, you know. Yeah, yeah, got it. Oh, more quick times. All right, I'm so good at these. But superior numbers aren't gonna do them any good. It's a cool fight. Uh, okay, maybe they will. 
Again. So first you shoot at her, now you're gonna help out. Interesting. <sighs> That's the last of them. Whose side are you that on? That was dangerous. Thank you. Wait, what are you doing here? And why did you help me? Should I not have? You know that's not what I mean. Why are you here? I don't follow. You shot at me yesterday. That was yesterday. Today is today. What? Anyway, do you hear that? Hear what? What? Oh. Um, what is going on here? I assume you're here to get treatment. Who are you? This is a strange meeting in the mines. We should be far enough away now. Indeed. I do not sense any pursuers nearby. Now, you two, let's talk. I need answers. I... I'm gonna the assume I know Institute this, is but... funded by my father. You are aware of that fact. Yeah, you're there correct? for treatment, I assume. Yeah, I came to confirm something. That's not what I was expecting. I thought I could use my name to give me some authority. What did you want to know? Not gonna tell me, huh? What were you doing there, Big Sis? I'm looking for Shoma. I heard that he's been seen there a lot recently. Shoma? Well, he is definitely not there. Huh? That's How do you know? He contacted me on Nile on the way here. Shoma is in the mountains of Nagano. He's gone camping, alone. That's also That is what weird. his Nile message said. I'm not sure I believe that. That's exactly the kind of thing that is sent to friends and family of a victim of a kidnapping or a disappearance or something. I don't believe that. Unless I have a verbal confirmation from Shoma, I'm gonna assume that's BS. He sent that message to myself, Mame, and you as well. Oh, what? <sighs> You're right. He's coming back on his motorbike today. Shoma is 18 now. Old enough to ride a motorcycle. You make it sound as though you're older, but you two are the same age. Iba, can you check if he's really camping? On it. Hmm, he's not lying. He has been really? at the campgrounds the last few days. He was spotted on surveillance cameras in various locations. For the past few days, huh? At the very least. That does provide him an alibi in the Jin Furaway case. But even then... It is still the most likely possibility that his robot carried yes, the body. Yes, which means while he's been away camping, somebody used his robot. Now, my question is, did he go camping so somebody could use his robot? You know, the kind of situation where, oh, I suggest you go off uh, on a vacation for a bit. That kind of thing. And ask no questions after the fact. Do you think fact. someone used Shoma's robot without his permission? Anyone could do it. The Enda house has no security. Anyone could get in or out. Also true. I guess we don't need to look for Shoma anymore. I have? I'm the no. same as ever. No, something's been off about you since lunch today. Does it have anything to do with why you were at Horadori Institute? The fountain. The park is one of my favorite places. I am certain that is why Leon brought me here so many times. For the past six years, whenever he saw that I looked bored, he would bring me here and try to make me laugh. He would trip into the fountain on purpose, sometimes even pretending to drown. Honestly, none of it was funny, but before I knew it, I fell in love with this park even more. That's weird, but okay. Sure. You. I was investigating. Investigating? Are you some kind of detective or something? Yes. Something like that. You know about the gene therapy research they're doing there. Yeah, they were doing it you? on Shoma. Yeah. I don't totally understand it, but it's something about rewriting DNA, right? I heard that they're doing illegal things there. That wouldn't surprise me. I wanted to know about the dark side of the research myself. So that is why I'm investigating them. I want to know who did this to me. Did what to you? 
If you don't want to give me the details, at least tell me this. They're doing shady things in there, and you want to find out what, right? That's right. Alright. I can't talk about it. Why not? It's top secret. Top secret? But it could have something to do with my investigation. I wouldn't know. Hey, Iba, can we sink into her? I wouldn't even try. There is no way you would get Boss's permission. <sighs> but I can tell you this. It's about Tokiko Shigure. Tokiko Shigure? Interesting. The president of Nyes? That's right. The president of Horidori Institute. Chikara was a senior member of Nyes. Mm -hmm. 37 years ago, when Tokiko was 23, she became pregnant with his child. What? Right, we knew this. Chikara didn't want anything to do with it. He already had a wife and child. Uh, was he insane. demanded she get an abortion, but she refused. She gave birth to the child. At the time, she had no immediate family and no money. Chikara was terrified. He was worried that the child might grow up to resent him and threaten him with blackmail. So he came up with a plan to have them adopted to one of his friends. To persuade Tokiko, he promised her prestige and power at Nye's. That she would one day be president. Through tears, Tokiko reluctantly accepted and let the child go. That's why she's so cold. Or she was so cold. Tokiko lost her child. But she did become a powerful member of Nyes. Ultimately, she became the president of the Japan branch. Was that the child that went missing so many years ago? You're saying they could be terror? That's not possible. Why not? They've already passed. Really? It is a certainty. Okay. I felt like it. Who just feels like shooting at a high school girl? I don't think the high school <laughs> part is relevant. I almost died. No, that would be impossible. I shot you with rubber bullets. You didn't notice? You mean... I had no intention of killing you. Then why did you shoot me? Just... She was me. testing you. I'm not your enemy. She was testing to see if you could do it. Why? I want to see your face. I refuse. You want me to trust you? Then show me your face. Sorry, I don't have my makeup on right now. <laughs> Ugh. And I have a big pimple on my nose as well. It's embarrassing. Then I'll just force you to take it off. Don't bother trying. This mask is secured in place by an extremely powerful special adhesive developed by NASA. If you tried, it would rip my skin off. Or did you want to see my facial muscles? If that's the case, then I won't stop you. Okay, I lied. I would stop you. So does that mean you're gonna wear that mask forever? No. I'll take it off if I need to. The mask will come off if I apply the remover. There are certain kinds of glue that require a special chemical I think chemical the NASA is a bit of a stretch, but I'm not sure. The bond may also deteriorate naturally over time. That's enough for now. I guess. I'm going to get going. Fine, but don't get in my way again. I won't get in your way. I'll only do what I need to do. Yeah, okay. Oh, and one more thing. Earlier when you... Thanks for saving me. <laughs> You don't need to thank me for that. And one more thing for me, too. If you plan on continuing your investigation, there are two important things to consider. First, whatever happens, don't lose That's sight cryptic. of yourself. Even if someone you trust betrays you. And the other thing, Ryuki. Be wary of him. What? See you around. He's kind of a loose cannon, so I can see that one. Wait! What do you mean by that? I think it's more of a word of caution considering his Jeez. mental state. Taking off right after dropping that bombshell? She is right in that Ryuki isn't quite himself right now, but... Wait, how does she even know about Ryuki? Unknown. That leaves you. It's no good. She's not answering. Then we will have to ask her mind. Right. Lead into a full on. <laughs> the experiment was a success. <laughs> what is this? It seems Kizuna knows something about the dark side of Horidori what Institute. Experiment. Mizuki, we have no choice. Kizzy, 
I'm sorry, but will you let me into your dream? My dream? Yep, good old sink. Yes, indeed. Okay, I think I get the picture. Mm -hmm. Kizuna Chieda. She seems to know something about Chikara. And what he was really I doing in Lord of the Rings. I think it's something to do with the HB case. So. Okay then, Pewter. I'm ready to go. Six minutes. Mizuki, I'm sure you already know, but the time limit inside Somnium is... Yep, I'll be back before then. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> At this point, it's just a running gag. Okay. I have some suspicions. Sink Somnium's power! Hourly wage? Increase! <laughs> I am the Eye Magician Girl, Aiba. Feels like I'm watching anime. In the name of AI, I will punish you with flogging and flaying! That's interesting. Whoa, 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 that's way over the top. What is this eye magician girl's special move? I punch your abdomen repeatedly. That sounds more like a fighting anime than a magical girl thing. Ah, it's like a story Iba, book. is that? It is similar to the Chikara we saw in the Wink Sink. Oh. The page turned. That picture book might have some info. Yes, we should inspect it. Somnium scan, activate! Oh. Okay. The book I expected, but the rest of these mental locks, I must confess, are rather surprising. Interesting. Alright, normally I do the sinks on a separate episode, but we're gonna go on ahead and tackle this now, because so far we've only, we're only 20 or so minutes in. Girl was chased through the forest by the wolf. It's a large picture book. I heard that Kizzy likes picture books and fairy tales and all that. Does this represent her feelings? It is worth a look. Um. Let's read. Let's take this slow first. There's writing. Little Blue Riding Hood. Is that the title? Not read? The text below reads, the girl was chased through the forest by the wolf. Ah, yes. Huh? Another picture. This is Blue Riding Hood. So who's huh? the other girl? What is that? A balloon? No. Whoa! What was that? Something fell. Is oh, that... Okay. Blue Riding Hood? Alright. Did she get the wolf? Ah, okay. Something came out. Let's take a look. Oh, there is no path here. Alright. The little girl liked blank. She admired blank and blank. Diary? Does it say anything? It appears to be more of a continuation from the picture book than a diary. Let's read it. It was a little child wearing a blue hood. She rose her fist and bravely scared the wolf away. The girl thanked the blue hooded hero. 
but she scoffed in return. Can you not walk? Fool. Blue Riding Hood was a little rude, but the girl smiled. Blue Riding Hood carried the girl on her back and took her home. The two of them were surprised when they got there. From that day on, Blue Riding Hood was Why were they home. surprised? Hold on, can we go back to why they were surprised? What a great introduction. Thank you, big sis. The girl took her hand, but she made a weird face. Maybe she was just being shy, but in any case, she said, Nice to meet you, with a nod. Why were they surprised? <laughs> Big Sis always was the courageous one. Ah, the memories. Okay. Surrounded by sweet snacks. Big Sis must be that girl she's always talking about. Right. Perhaps she saved her from a dog or something when she was younger. That experience turned into the story of Little Blue Riding Hood. So that picture book was a story of Kizuna's memories. Something happened to the book. Check it out. Okay, good. More writing. The two of them never left each other's side. They went to the forest together. Ah, uh, finally. So basically what we're trying More to do then pictures. is we're trying to just work our way through the story until we get to the memories involving Chikara. Is essentially what we're trying to do here. The little girl liked fairy tales from a young age. She admired blank and blank. It's a large picture book. It Read it. This time, it's... Hannah and Gretel. It's a little different from the story I know. Below it, Hannah and Gretel found a house made out of candy ah. in the forest. I know what mental lock this is. Huh? That's not a house made of candy. That's a witch! Oh. Mizuki, there is more witchiness over there. <laughs> oh, wow. Lots of stuff this time. Let's look. Mm. She admired fairy tales and blank. Let's examine the witch candle, a candle first. candle in the shape of a witch. Something is suspicious about it. It's a witch-shaped candle. This does not seem to be modeled after anything specific. The candle is made of paraffin. Standard wax. So you can use it then? Yes. I am sure it will burn with fire. Fire? Mizuki, you have five fire. minutes yeah, left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. Punching it, I'm pretty sure, would do very little good. We need fire. I'm gonna go to this thing, because it looks at least a little like a house. No. I wanna use... one of my... timies, because I've got three of them. Alright. We'll just use this and go with the one-third. It's about the only thing I have. I waste a couple seconds on that, but that's fine. There's something here. Oh, I don't even use. Okay, never mind. A piece of paper. Does it say anything? Hot, hot blaze spell. Ziblato to. Hot, hot blaze spell. Think we can use it for something? Oh yeah. The girl made up blank. She would cast them on herself to ward off blank. No, I know what this. It's a witch-shaped candle. Perfect. Skewer that candle and cook it. This is not a barbecue. <sighs> I will light the fire. Hot, hot blaze spell. What's See blood to toe. Oh, it lit up. Okay. The candle is gone. Candy. I but look, the witch in the picture book. So the witch candle must be tied to the picture. The witch is gone. Now we have these assorted snacks. 
Assorted snacks. Looks like a cheese wheel in the middle, to be honest, but it's probably supposed to be a uh, huh. cookie. Something came out over there. Let's go. The girl made up magical words. She would cast them on herself to ward off evil. Where the... Oh. A large chocolate chip cookie. It must contain at least three days <laughs> worth of calories. <laughs> Uh, let's share it. Who should I share it with? I do not see Kizuna. Maybe you can just pretend. Hmm. It isn't breaking. Maybe it's not a real cookie. That could be the case. Oh, that was useless. Okay. It's a large <laughs> cookie. At least it only cost me a second and a timey. Um... Let's let's use the 15 seconds on this one. Let's save up the one third just in case. Eat that it. cookie in the picture book was partially eaten, right? Try to bite it the same way. I see. That may indeed trigger something. Can you? All eat right, it? here I go. Ah! Uh, oh! That worked. That's a huge bite. That worked. Another book. Okay. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting that. After many blanks, she blank. To blank, to blank. I'll read it. Father, you liar. How many times have you lied to me? Gretel finally shed a tear. Ever since her mother died, her father has been working all the time. She barely got to spend any time oh, he with was him. Her father gave sorrows. her tons of snacks. But Gretel was not happy. Do not worry. I'll beat up any evil-doing witches around here. Her father would reassure Gretel after hearing tales of evil witches. But the evil witch was inside Gretel. The witch filled her with sadness and turned her selfish. Her older sister Hannah tried hard to cheer Gretel up. But Gretel's tears didn't stop. Ah, uh, okay. He was trying to escape his own sorrow from his wife passing by... Escaping it with work. Father. This must be her memories of her father. Richie Chieda. It seems that Kizuna was quite sad. I can kind of relate. Oh, the book changed again. We should take a look. All right. More text. Gretel continued to cry and cry for a long, long time. Hmm? Something happened to the slide. The little girl liked fairy tales from a young age. She admired fairy tales and saw herself in the main characters. It's not too unusual. Cinderella spent a dreamy night with the prince. Let's examine you the slide You have about first. four minutes left. Thank you. The clock is part of the slide. On closer inspection, the hour hand is missing. You're right. I'm not sure what taking that off is going to do for me. Bring what it. would the point of that be? Do it first. I'll think of the point later. <laughs> oh, it came off. Oops. What should I do now, Mizuki? Um... Put it back. I now. can't think of anything. Let's put it back. After many sad events, she blank. To blank, to blank. Alright, well, we got a minus 30 second timey, so that's not bad. It's a Read large this. picture book. This one appears to be Cinderella. Hmm. 
Well, we're gonna use a timey on this and the read. The title is Cinderella. Cinderella. Below that, it says, Cinderella spent a dreamy night with the prince. Since reading so far is, yep, continue the story. A castle and a clock. Ah. There is the other hand. One of the hands fell. It wasn't a regular picture, I guess. Okay. This short hand. Can we use it for something? Let's hold on to it, just in case. Um, we already had that conversation. The girl had one glass slipper and a blank. Blank. Similar to how blank. Alright. Pop on over here. Pop it's a clock. There. The hour hand is missing. Attach hour hand. That's... That's a lot of time to attach Let's an hour take hand. the short hand from earlier, and... There. It fits perfectly. It's gonna adjust to the one on the picture. What's going on? Now this is a crazy trick. Kizuna does appear timid, but I suppose she can be expressive at times. I never would have thought. I guess she hides it well. Another change to the ah. picture book. Where should we start? We should start with reading. That's always worked. After many sad events, she blank. Do not make things worse. It's blank. All right, we read first, but I have a general idea of where this it's is going. It's a large picture book. Read the right page. That's only six seconds. We don't need to use the time. There's more writing. Cinderella buried her slippers as a way to confirm their feelings. I see. She's talking about to the tree. Why? Just do it. The girl hid one glass slipper and a blank, separating the pair, similar to how blank. Yep, this is where she buried the... Oh? A time capsule. That's right, it was buried here. A time capsule? Six years ago, Liam proposed to Kizzy. He gave her glass slippers instead of an engagement ring. They agreed that if they felt the same way after six years, yada yada yada. Anyway. They decided to bury the thing here till the time came. I completely forgot about it. But it looks like Kizzy remembered. So inside, there is an engagement... shoe? Just one, though. The other's missing. I wonder if it's around here somewhere. <sighs> we'll close the box. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Huh. It opened. Perhaps it will not work with just one shoe. No. We need the That's other a shoe good point. to the school. The girl hid one glass slipper in a dark place, separating the pair. Three minutes mm -hmm. left, Mizuki. Yeah, yeah, Careful yeah, yeah. now. It's the entrance to Iowan. I can see a glass slipper inside. The door is closed. Probably locked. Hmm, this... If we know the four-digit code, we can open this. Four digits long, huh? No time to brute force it, I guess. Oh, wait. It has a colon here. Yeah? Interesting. It's a time. What four digits should I enter? All right, there was the time on the clock and on the page, but that hand fell off. The time on the other thing was 11 o'clock, wasn't it? Damn, no good. No. Is there a hint somewhere? It has a colon in the middle. 
So I believe it must indicate yeah, a time. Yeah, it is a time. A time. It is that one. Okay. Oh, 11.50. It's the entrance to Iowan. I had it flipped. It is locked. What four digits should I no. enter? Twelve fifty. Why am I having a hard time remembering how clocks work? What? What is wrong with me? Shorthand. Hour hand. Twelve. Twelve fifty. Damn. No good. It has. A t yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I need to examine this. Why am I having a brain fart? What's wrong with me? I'm gonna look at this. The clock is part of the slide. Let's inspect it. This clock was in sync with the movement of the ground, but it's not moving anymore. The hands have settled on a time. 11.59. Oh, 11.59. Like. All right, that's great. 11.59. That's a minute before the spell cast on her wears off. Similar to how her heart separated from the hands. Okay. That's fine. 11.59. It's the entrance to Iowa. <laughs> I had a total brain fart there. What the heck is wrong with me anyways? Oh my goodness. Now let's use the equals 10 here. What four digits should I enter? There we go. It worked. I had a feeling the time on the clock was the key. Well, I knew it was. I just couldn't read it. There's an eyeball there. A glass slipper. The right one, to be exact. This has got to have some kind of significance. We should hold on to it for now. Don't give me that eyeball. Huh? There we go. Mizuki, you have less than two minutes left. Please hurry. hurry. It contains one glass slipper. No, it's only six seconds. Uh, cancel that. There we go. Got it. It turned into a picture book again. Big Sis found out about Cinderella's dream and started panicking. Cinderella, even if someone proposes to you, you can't just accept it right away. Don't answer until you know who they really are. Wait five or six years. This was her advice to Cinderella. Interesting. Big Sis was worried about her naive little sister. Cinderella thought it was a bit much, but she smiled. If I ever meet a person that important to me, I will introduce them to my big sister first. Oh! Wait a minute. Let me think about this for a second. Hmm. It would be so much fun to share a meal together. And so, Cinderella dreamed another dream. Alright, what's the last dream? I received those wonderful slippers, but I cannot dance anymore. I am not worthy of him. I cannot be his princess. What should I do? Big sis, Kizzy. Interesting. But it was a balloon up there, I was right. Is that the bell? Mm-hmm. The it clock sure is. moved. Midnight. The time her spell wears off. What's going on? No more. Show me no more. Let me hear no more. I don't want this anymore. Kizuna must feel that she can no longer be a princess. 
We gotta well, look what at the frog. What should we do? Kizuna doesn't want to look anymore. I don't want her to suffer, but we have to keep going. After many side events, she blank. Do not make things worse. Do not lose anything else. All right, let's check out frog base here. The picture of the frog with the crown. Wasn't there a That's clock Prince here frog earlier? To me, pardon me. Why did it change? I think it might be hidden. All right. Use minus five on this bad boy. There was a clock here earlier. It seems to have turned into a picture of a frog. A frog with a crown. The Frog Prince, I'm guessing. What's that story about? Well, an evil witch turned a prince into a frog. That frog tried to make a move on the princess. <laughs> the princess got really mad and slammed the frog into a wall. It was such a hard shock that the spell That's wore off. That goes. That's not what I was expecting. Yeah, the story has changed plenty through the ages. Now there's something about a kiss breaking the spell. Huh, I kind of like the original better. It's like a comedy manga. It's a picture of a frog with a crown. That's not gonna work. None of these work. Ah! Uh, I don't necessarily know that. All right, time to toast this toad. Hot, hot blaze spell, Zibla Toto. Hmm. Nah, frogs are water type. It's not very effective. I suppose that spell won't work. Minus 15, huh? The picture book is closed and covered in thorns. Kizuna must have sealed her heart away. I can see the cover through the thorns. What's it say? Diary? Why is it always thorns? Thorns, my mortal enemy. What? Darn, it's no use. I lose this round, but next time I will win. I will defeat you. Thorns are your rival, huh? Oh, thorn rival. That's a palindrome, isn't it? No, it isn't. No. After many side events, she stopped time in her heart to not make things worse. That was anything else. We can't do anything else with a frog. Hello. Does it say something? Yes, another spell. Or a counter spell to be precise. Transformation dispel. Former Rand's Titan Sid. Transformation dispel. The frog. Was anything transformed? Maybe you can use it on that thing. Only a minute left. Uh, that's fine. It's a picture of a frog with a crown. Let's go! Transformation Dispel! Form a Rand's Titan Sid! That's not the clock I was expecting. Is this the rudder of a ship? Or the wheel part of a spinning wheel. Right, the Thorn Princess. This wheel has the numbers one through 12 on it. It's like a Sleeping clock. Sleeping Beauty is specifically not the Thorn Princess, but okay. It's the wheel part of a spinning wheel. All right. She stopped time, huh? If this is supposed to represent a clock, maybe we can change the time. So if we turn it clockwise, we can get new information. Since we need to sit forward in time, we can move the clock forward. Now we can check the swings. The Thorn Princess continued to sleep. She slept to avoid facing her sadness. She slept, trapped by terrible memories. She did not want to be hurt by them anymore. No need to cry and shy away anymore. But, but why? Why do I keep waking up? Why do I keep remembering it? My chest aches. My heart breaks with yours. 
Never again. So we're pretty close, but uh, it's gonna be under the wire here because I made some mistakes. I never knew this is how she felt. Any more of this could leave her hurt. Should we continue, Mizuki? It would be worse to leave her like this. It would be. Something's weighing on Kizzy's heart. It's better to face I it. I want to take that burden away. She's one of my best friends. I understand. I believe in you, Mizuki. Her memories with her loving big sister was what kept her inspired. That is a 60 second sit. I want to stay together. Kizuna, you said you will be with me forever. Hold on, wait a minute. I think we just, we just blew it. Hold on. I made too many mistakes. This is where I started making the mistakes, I think. Yeah. It's a And then the hand falls off. You have about four minutes left. That's fine. And then this happens. Because my big mistakes were, they started here. Insert the shoe, be more aggressive with my timies. Go through all of this. Yep. And then this all happens, but now that I know that I just need the spell, which is right over here. Three minutes left, Mizuki. Careful now. No, I'm way ahead of the schedule with the, no mistakes this time. Uh, three second difference. We'll just use this. Ta-da! more time to play with. That's a lot better. I want to stay together. Kizuna? You said you will be with me forever. Is this when she and her older sister got split up? It is. But, please... Will you at least play a game with me? Remember how we used to kick our slippers up? You used to beat me all the time, but now I... If I win, please stay. Please. Interesting. And she lost. The rules are simple. Kick the shoe further to win. And just like we used to, it will be best of three. Shall I go first? Yeah, let's do this. Play a shoe toss game with Kizuna three times. Win twice to get the victory. To the left stick. I don't have a stick. I'm on keyboard. What do you mean stick? In the direction of the swing to charge up the gauge, maintain a power above the gauge's hurdle. When the remaining time hits zero, you will kick your shoe up. The shoe will travel the distance of the gauge. And in order to... In order to refresh the memories, we have to win like her sister did at the time.
good. Okay. I get it. Good job, Iva. Big sis. So you want to leave me? N no, you've got it all wrong. What should I do, Mizuki? It's not a matter of want, it's a matter of Maybe it's better if you don't win? No. We have to win. Because that's what happened in real life. I figured it out. That's really clever, actually. <laughs> My physical prowess triumphs again. <laughs> Got an achievement for that? <laughs> you really do not like me anymore. Best of three. We'll lose this one. No, I'm too competitive for that. Let's win. Oh, I got some extra distance on the roll. That was nice. Yay, we won! Hooray! <laughs> Is this a mistake? <laughs> Did we make a mistake? I'm enjoying this a little too much. <laughs> Witness me, Mizuki. Observe my perfect control. Oh, that was the correct move. I suppose there is no being yeah, you. Yeah, her exists. sis won. Now what does Chikara have to do with all of this? be the memory hidden away deep in Kizuna's heart. Inhumane genome experiments carried out at Horidori's research facility. What? But why does she know this? This is what Kizuna was hiding. Oh, her father's Rats. diary. Marichi Chieda. It's Kizuna's father's diary. I see. That's how she knew. So her father knew. The question is, why? Hey, 85 seconds left to spare, not bad. Oh, good. Not sure what that means, but great. I'm unsure of the significance of this, but thank you. Is this? Yes. The diary that was in the chairman's office. Oh, she gave us the diary. Oh. This morning, father asked me to look for something in the office. I accidentally knocked some books off the shelf, and I saw this. When it fell to the ground, this page was open, face up. I knew I should not have read it. I regretted it immediately. Terrible things were written there. Things about a girl whose genes were forcibly rewritten. Why didn't you tell me this before? Well, I think it would be best if you read this. I think it would be too.
I would like to know what it said. There was a girl, a child whose DNA was rewritten. Chikara Horidori performed this task himself. The goal was to find a cure for aging, but the results were unexpected. The child had superhuman athletic abilities, strength, endurance, agility. They were all well beyond that of normal adults, and those abilities only grew as she got older. This child was raised away from the other kids at Iowan. When she was three, she was adopted. The child's name was... Mizuki. It was you. The family name was Okiura. Mizuki? I'm genetically modified? But what about Daddy and Mom? They weren't my real parents? That explains why Kizuna was unwilling to tell Mizuki. Interesting. Which means when they made the first game, they had this plotline set up. No way. Chikara's... There's blood there. They made a mistake. Left half. Mizuki, they made a mistake. Are you okay? It, yeah. It's not the first time I've seen a dead body. That is not what I am referring to. You hardly got any sleep last night. You must be mentally exhausted. No. I suppose that is perfectly understandable. Anyone in a similar situation would... It's fine. That's that, this is this. Let's just focus on the investigation. The body is Chikara's. If we can figure out more about this case, we can figure out other things. Well, after all of that, though, that bomb dropping... We'll end the episode here, and we'll investigate Chikara's murder. I, I can see blood at the crotch, so the... Terror has made a mistake here. It's not supposed to be blood. Anyways, we'll figure that out next episode, so in, you know, whatever. So thank you all very much for joining me. If you liked this week's like and subscribe, if you didn't, please ignore me. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, ideas, suggestions, or requests, please leave them down in the comment section below. And thank you all very much for joining me, and have a great 24 hours.